Hello, welcome to the Refugee Voice Podcast, amplifying the voices of the unheard. Refugee Voice, where every story counts. Today we are going to discuss about water scarcity in BDBD refugee settlement, the challenges faced by refugees in village 7 and 8 of zone 4 in BDBD refugee settlement. The BDBD refugee settlement in Uganda is home to thousands of refugees from South Sudan. However, in the past month, the residents of village 7 and 8 in Zone 4 have been facing a significant water crisis. The primary water source in the area has been out of commission forcing the refugees to look for water in neighboring villages of 6 and 9, crossing into the neighboring zone 5 of Yangani, and sometimes going as far as the neighboring Invepi refugee settlement. The situation has been challenging for the refugees, especially women and children, who have to walk a long distance to access water. The water they collect is often unsafe for drinking and this poses a significant health risk to the community. The refugees have had to rely on running rainwater which is often contaminated and this can lead to an increase or outbreak of diseases and other illness. Speaking with some of the community members in village 8, uh, this is what they have to say about the challenge they are facing because of the water scarcity. The water challenge has affected us, the women, so much. And even if you want to wash or drink, there is no water. We are now fetching dirty running rainwater. It's almost two months we don't have water and we move long distance to fetch water. Due to the overcrowding in the water places, sometimes people end up fighting each other. Edna is a pregnant mother in village 8 of Zone 4. She said the challenge of water started in early January this year and sometimes they go and fetch water in Yangani which is located in zone 5 and sometimes they collect the running rainwater which is dirty and not healthy for consumption. She said yesterday she went to collect water from Yangani in zone 5 and she fell down and her leg is dislocated. She doesn't know what you and Sarah and Opem are thinking about them and if yesterday she was to fall and die. My name is Edna Nyoka in village 8. We are suffering. Our children want to go to school. There is no water for bathing. We cry out to you and Sarah to help us if possible let borehole be drilled in the village or install for us our tap water which can supply us with enough water. The young children dirty themselves and sometimes with feces, but because water is not there, we cannot wash them or their clothes. Right now, we get water from Yangani in Zone 5 or we go to Bulomoni, sometimes to Invepi refugee settlement. Due to the long distance over movement in search of water, our bodies are tired and it makes us fall sick because we don't have enough time to rest. Akelo is a pupil at Kado Primal School. She said getting water is hard. They go to school and when they come back home so that they can wash their dirty uniform, there is no water. She said they fetch the rain water on the road side. Samson Boboya is a resident of Village 8 in Zone 4 Annex. He said what he has seen bad as a refugee is the current water they are using is not a safe water. They are now drinking dirty running rain water. This water can cause a lot of diseases like inching of the body, diarrhea, abdomen pain. It also can cause typhoid. These are the challenge they are facing in the community. Samson also said when they go to the health facility, they are told that their hygiene is poor. 
And this is because they use dirty water. He said they have taken one month drinking the dirty running rain water because their main water source has broken down. Charity Aya, a mother in village 8, said, due to the challenges of water in the past one month, they wash the baby's clothes with this dirty rain water. And also as women, they use the same dirty water to wash their reusable pads without soap. It makes their body to develop rashes, inching, and when they drink the water, it causes throat inching and cough. Dina Pony, a resident of Village 8, said the major problem is water. The fetch rainwater, which is stagnant and standing in one place. She said the safe water is very far away from their village. And they have moved because they got tired. She has resorted just to fetching the stagnant rainwater and they are using it to cook and drinking. Dina also said because of that it has caused abdomen pain and cough. Now we fetch water from Yangani or in Vepi and there is no time for the children to go to school because there is no water. Washing is problem. Water is important. We really need water. Water is key and water is used for domestic work. At the same time, water keeps hygiene clean. The people of village 8 and 7 need to be helped immediately by the implementing partners. Thank you for watching our video. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and like our pages. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.